What's up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Jealousy4 here, bringing us more Black After the Multiplayer Beta. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's gameplay because I managed to go 33 kills and 11 deaths with the Weevil. Now, the Weevil is pretty much of a quite a similar weapon to another previous Call of Duty game, which is called either Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 2, or Modern Warfare 3. And well, you know, I was pretty much experienced with the P90 back in Modern Warfare 3 since in Modern Warfare 3 I got like over 150,000 kills within one year, like well, right on the, re the release date I got to play Modern Warfare 3 and uh, you know, within a year span I got 150,000 kills with a KD of 1.98 I believe in Modern Warfare 3 and I averaged like around 40 to 50 kills per gameplay. And um, I believe like I got like over 100,000 kills with the P90 because my P90 that P90 was just OP man. I loved it. I played every single game like with the P90. There was just no way there was another um, there was another SMG or another weapon that was quite similar to it. So I just stick with the P90 every single gameplay and uh, pretty much calling all my kill streaks like like all the time. So it was super fun playing with the P90 back in the day in Modern Warfare 3. Now, uh, it kind of returns into Black Ops 3. Now, the thing is, it is nothing similar to the one in Modern Warfare 3. Let me tell you guys why. One of the things that the P90 kind of had was stableness. This gun does not have any. Not even with the foregrip. The recoil is still super high. It will shake all over the goddamn place. You will not many, make any kind of hits. Now, one thing that really got right was probably the shape of the gun and also the way it doesn't even aim from hip fire. So... Uh, that's that's probably like one of the things that it actually got right, but the, but the rest like the aiming or when you add some certain attachments like the foregrip or the stuck attachment, the weapon is not even accurate at all. Like I feel like I got ripped off. Like this is just a, it's it's just a rip off of a P90. It's not the same thing. I mean, I wanted to relive my Modern Warfare three days by using this weapon, but it's nothing. It's not similar. And the thing is, you know, this weapon right now with the attachments of the silencer, long range, and uh, what else do I got? The stock attachment, foregrip, you know, with all these attachments, still the P90 is not the same. But I still managed to get some kills around there because, um, you know, I was kind of sneaking around with the silencer. So that's pretty much gives, gives me like a, you know, pretty much an advantage when it comes down to killing enemies. So they wouldn't even notice where, where I'm at half of the time. So that's the only advance I have and uh, back in the day with the P90 and Modern Warfare 3 with the silencer and the range attachment I would just take out people like crazy like even from long range that's the one of the, the strongest points of the P90 and Modern Warfare 3 long range was possible I mean I got <laughs> I've taken out several people and I'm telling you I've gotten AC 130s like crazy like that it's just the P90 was OP back in the day not a lot of people used it because they oversaw it like because of the because of the MP7 the MP7 was also pretty good in Modern Warfare 3 but I never used it because I don't know it just felt super weird and I just stuck to my P90 all the time so so yeah like it's not the same thing as Modern Warfare 3 but it's kind of like below average like I'll just say Number one right now, my number one SMG right now is the Vesper. Number two is the VMP. Number three is the CUDA. Number four will be this one, the Weevil, which is kind of bad for the Weevil because, uh, you know, I'm pretty good with SMGs. I have a long history with SMGs, especially with Black Ops 2, where I had the Scorpion Evil, the MP7, the MSMC, the uh, PDW, you know, all those SMGs. I mean, I have so much history with those, and I did super good. But the Weevil, like, I'm telling you, it's right under all of those SMGs. I'm like... God damn it, the P90 over there is like my number one weapon of all time, and the Weevil is kind of looks the same, but it's just a ripoff. Kind of feels sad, you know, because I really wanted to get that Modern Warfare 3 feeling, but damn, it's not the same. So I'm just going to say, guys, for the people who are about to play on Xbox, um, you know, just watch out with the Weevil. It's not the same thing. It's not It's not good like as uh, Call of Duty 4, too. Like, I, I got to play the, the, the P90 with the, in the Call of Duty 4 game, and in telling you it's not the same thing. It shakes too much. It doesn't have that that same damage that it used to have. So, um, yeah, the Weevil is not as good as you think. It's, it's not as good YouTubers say that it is. It's not really. Uh, I said just to go with the Vesper and the VMP. So, yeah, that's that's something I want to warn you guys. And uh, that's it, guys. That's all I want to talk about about the Weevil. And if you guys want to see more Black Ops 3 multiplayer beta, please uh, leave a like in the video. That will let me know that you guys want to see some more. I do have several clips saved up, so there's going to be like a lot more Black Ops 3 multiplayer going on. So you guys can, you know, pretty much know what to do on day one, on the release day of, of the real Black Ops 3 full game. You know, I want to prepare you guys. And I will try my best. So that's it, guys. Subscribe for more guys want to see more Black Ops 3 multiplayer.